Hi guys, it's Jasmine. Sorry if I sound a little bit off. It's because I'm really sick right now, but I was, when I got up this morning, I was like, I have to film. <laughs> I haven't really done a chit chat video with you guys in a long time. I think the last time that I did anything where it was just me sitting in front of the camera was like dyeing my hair blue because I got bored, which was like four months ago. Anyways, today's video is gonna be a tattoo tour video. A lot of you guys have been asking for this and I have finally decided to give. <laughs> the last time I filmed a tattoo video with you guys was eight months ago and at that time I only had 10 tattoos but now I have 16, 17, 18, 19. I have 23 tattoos. To me personally, just a personal opinion, I don't think tattoos need to mean anything specifically. It's nice if you have tattoos with meanings, which I do. But also, I like the memories behind a lot of my tattoos because they're like little stories that I can tell and they're like little learning experiences along the way. So I'm gonna briefly talk about the stick and poke tattoos that I did to myself. Back in sophomore year, I believe, I first learned from Tumblr that you could stick and poke yourself. Me being the rebellious teenager I was, I was like, I'm gonna try that. So I took a needle and I poked a heart onto my ankle. I remember I was facetiming my friend when I did that and she was so scandalized by what I was doing to myself. Just wanted to mention that this is very unsafe and unsanitary so please don't do this to yourself at home. I figured out that I could buy tattoo needles off of Amazon. Obviously with what I've learned now, even though they're sterilized and safe, they aren't as sharp as tattoo needles that you could get with a license. I remember in 11th grade, I fixed the heart on my ankle. I turned it into a flower. It's still here. I'm probably not gonna do anything to it just because I don't give a shit about my ankles. And then I did another one on my thigh, which is another flower. Cause again, like I said in my last video, I want to be a garden. I just wanna be a fucking garden because I love plants. This is gonna sound extremely dumb, but when I did that, I wore shorts and I was like, I want to hide it in a place where my parents won't see, but I also want to have it in a place where I can show it off. And that's why it is in a very awkward placement on my thigh. I will be getting this one covered up by my friend, Wendy. Not completely big cover up, just we're gonna add more flowers around the one flower that I did basically and then after that i did a little leaf on my shoulder holds no meaning but i think it's like a little nice accessory decoration on my shoulder i also have another stick and poke tattoo on my right forearm it's just a bunch of random little squiggles i did that because i was really inspired by this drawing that i saw i think there was a lot of squiggles on it and I was like, wow, I want that on me. I also have another stick and poke tattoo on my hand. I really like this one. It's a little smiling tulip. I'm just gonna touch up on it just because hand tattoos fade so fast. But whenever I take a picture of like my left hand, it's right here, smiling. On my hand, I also have three stars. I'm gonna touch up on them soon. These were done by my friend Hoyeon. I remember this was when I was in art class back in senior year. She bought a tattoo machine off of Amazon and I decided that I would become her lab rat and let her do whatever she wanted to my hands. They're not that bad. Once I touch up on them, they'll probably look better. But honestly, I don't really care about what my hands look like. I also forgot to mention that my stick and poke tattoos did not hurt that bad because when you hand poke someone, the needle doesn't go in as deep as you would with a tattoo gun. I'm gonna go in order by time. So my first one to the one that I just got like three days ago. So the first ever tattoo that I got done by a machine are the chrysanthemums on my ribs. That one I got done by Lauren. She's a student at FIT and she trained to be a tattoo artist in Korea, I believe. It didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Honestly, I can't really remember the pain of how bad each tattoo hurt because when I get it done, I'll be like, oh, this fucking hurts. And then after I'll be like, I want to feel that pain again. <laughs> Unhealthy addictions. For that tattoo, I got it done because I love chrysanthemums. And they're also my birth month flower, which is November. And I also got it for my dog because he's a shih tzu. And in Chinese, they're called Ju Hua Lin because their little faces 
bloom like the little flower and it's so cute and i just got it for us too oh another factor is the tattoos is that depending on the placement some of them tickle so bad i remember the rib one tickled really bad and honestly the tickling is worse than the pain after that i i think that was during september of freshman year of college and then i didn't get another tattoo until my 18th birthday i got three that day and i got the lily on my arm the orchids on the back of my arm and the stars my constellation on my collarbone for the lily i'm actually going to be touching up on it with rindy i just don't like the line work that the tattoo artist did it looks very flat there's no strength in the lines where it'll be like thick to thin and i don't like that right now so i'm gonna get it touched up i got that for my grandma because her favorite flowers are lilies she's always been there to take care of me when i was younger i go back to china every year to see my grandparents so yeah just a little reminder the lily one barely hurt at all it just felt like scratching the one on my collarbone hurt pretty bad but it's not the worst pain i felt this one is the scorpio constellation there's not much about it besides it's just the constellation and then the one on the back of my arm this one hurt so bad because the back of your arm is really really tender it like ate so bad but this one is of red and black orchids that i got from my mom she loves orchids and her chinese name is lan and orchid in chinese see we're we're a family of flowers <laughs> It was meant to be. I also have a little angel on my right shoulder. I really like angels, but that's not the point of this tattoo. It was the story behind it because I remember it was 11 p.m. at night and Vicky and I, we were strolling around Manhattan because we didn't have anything to do last year. I remember we were in a Japanese supermarket. I was like, I don't want to go home yet. And she was like, same, I don't want to go home. And I was like, should I get a tattoo? And that's how we ended up in a tattoo parlor. So fucking dumb. <laughs> the next tattoo that I got was a plant in a little takeout box. I think it's in one of my vlogs. I hung out with Michelle. We were at a plant shop called Rooted. And they were doing like a little special thing where if you bought a plant, you would get your tattoo for $60. So she bought the plant and I got a tattoo for $60. It's a really cute memory. He was a really good tattoo artist because when you do single needle tattoos, they take a lot of precision and he was really fast about it and very gentle i love designing my own tattoos but i like to see them on other people i don't care if it's on me like cool i guess i really like to look for artists with work that i like i'll see one of their flash designs and i'll be like i want that on me and then i just tell them oh my body is your canvas you can put it wherever you want they don't necessarily have to have meaning like i said before as long as they look pretty on me and my definition of what pretty is i am satisfied i'm gonna talk about the butterfly and moon that i have on my sternum i got it when i came back to california during summer break at that time i got it because i I relate to the moon a lot more than the sun i'm a moon child i guess because i'm always i'm more of a night person i'm always up at night butterflies are very delicate very frail and i was like oh that's me i'm gonna get a butterfly like i said meanings of tattoos can change a lot because when i got this butterfly i was still in a relationship after we broke up which i thought was the most traumatizing event of my life for like two days which it wasn't it really wasn't i was very sad so i listened to houses without me a lot i'm just thinking about how stupid that is another thing is that i feel like i've changed for the better this summer like I finally feel like myself because that relationship last year, even though I learned a lot from it, it held me back a lot. I feel like I've changed a lot the past summer because of that and I'm really happy because I changed for the better. I also remember when I was getting this tattoo done, it tickled really badly. Like all my tattoos tickle a lot because I'm a very ticklish person. After the butterfly tattoo, I went to Italy and that's where I got my little girl with a mask tattoo. I guess I could kind of relate to it because, wait, it sounds like I'm a fake bitch because I was gonna say, sometimes I'm two-faced, but that's not what I meant. Like when you first meet me, I'm very quiet, very shy, but once you get to know me, the mask comes off and I'm like, in your face. <laughs> the story behind this is that I got very close to a few people in my tour group. I got close to my tour guide and this other girl who was also very, very addicted to tattoos like I am. Basically, after we toured the Coliseum, we all walked to the tattoo parlor and then we got 
tattoos after i went clubbing and i was so scared of everyone touching my tattoo i traveled a lot this summer i cannot sit still in where i live in california i just feel like i'm being suffocated every day and i get very very sad when i'm just there so after italy i came back to california for like two weeks i think so after that i went to korea korea was so fun i got two tattoos for the bunny one i just really liked his designs i'm very drawn to like creepy yet cute things kind of, kind of weird but beautiful at the same time which i thought the bunny was an epitome of when i met the tattoo artist i just told him just place it wherever you want on this area i don't care as long as you think it looks good i'll think it looks good when he tattooed me he was so gentle like i've never met anyone with such gentle hands this area however again tickled really bad for me i literally had to hold in my breath because it tickled so bad for the half sleeve on my arm this one's one of my favorite there's so many details within the piece it took him around four hours which is pretty fast i just wanted to sleep with flowers because it looks pretty <laughs> after korea i went to hong kong where i got another tattoo it's this big peony on my collarbone around this time i was very drawn into asian art which is why a lot of my tattoos have a kind of asian vibe to it i guess i got the peony because it's known as one of the like national flowers of china this tattoo was one of my most painful tattoos because it's on the collarbone and i don't have a lot of fat in this area it's just skin and bone and it hurt so bad but i i powered through it the tattoo artist that did this tattoo was so sweet i just recall i was in pain and her face was looming over me as she went like after i was in hong kong i went to beijing to see my grandparents i got three tattoos in one day i got a little peach on my left shoulder and then i got three flowers here and a mask on my tummy area when i got there i can't really decide the placement for the three that i wanted which is why i'm not too sure if you guys know her but there's like a pretty popular tattoo artist in beijing called chen jie chen jie new tattoo and she does these very pretty watercolor tattoos but anyways i i had her choose the placement for me she kept turning me around she's like mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how we decided on the placement of the tattoos for the peach one. I just got it because it was cute. It looked very Asian. Right now, I'm not sure how I feel about it because I really want to add eyes to the peach. I don't know why. I just want to add eyes to the peach. Maybe in the future. Who knows? I really like the little red flowers here because if I have my shoulders squared like this in a line, it's all like asian influenced tattoos which i love for the mask on my tummy oh, i could not stop moving because of how ticklish it was he told me either to relax or to hold my breath but when i would relax it was like a reflex every time his needle went into my stomach i would tense and i couldn't stop myself you kind of messed up on a tattoo you can't really tell unless you're really like close up to it because some of the lines are a little like it was my problem because I, I could not stop moving. After I came back to New York during the school year, I found this tattoo artist called Tattooist Rindy on Instagram. I also forgot to mention the only reason why I find so many tattoo artists is because I go on like stalking trips through Instagram. I think it was fake because now we're very close friends. I remember that I was looking at her art and she had these two mermaids which I thought were so beautiful and I wanted it on my thigh. Also around the same time, my friend Chloe got me into like a thigh tattoo fetish thing. I wanted something on my legs so badly because it's very full up here but very empty down below. So yeah, the mermaids hold no meaning other than aesthetic value to me. She's one of my very close friends now. When she did my tattoo, we talked a lot and she was the one that got me kind of into fairy tale art. She's also an art student so we were able to get very close. We hang out like every week now. She's a tattoo apprentice so she just started tattooing but I think her work is very good. But it was very painful because my baby kind of has like a heavy hand when she tattoos but it's all good again beauty is pain the thigh one was pretty painful because it's on a very tender spot like you wouldn't expect it to be painful but it's pretty painful every time i get a new tattoo i start out perfectly fine but by the end i'm like in so much pain i'm like i can't take this anymore after i got the mermaid tattoo i wanted another one on my left thigh to match the other one i like it when thigh tattoos match each other so she tattooed these fairies on me which i thought was very pretty i think when i see her again to get my other tattoos touched up i'm gonna get her to redraw some of the lines in here because they're kind of fading i think and that brings us to the last tattoo that i got three days ago it was a birthday gift to myself and it's a little dragon i love it because the dragon head peeks out from here and it's like hi 
But yeah, I got that from Clarissa. Uh, I saw her tattoo account last year. I really want a tattoo by her because her style is so stylized and unique. But she was always booked. So when she opened her books for November, I was like, I'll get on to that. I was born Year of the Dragon, which is why I got a little dragon. I was deciding between a snake and a dragon, but my mom was like, please get a dragon if you're gonna get another tattoo i got with chrysanthemums because as i said before i'm in love with those flowers and i thought that it would be really cute to have some chrysanthemums here and some on my back i don't really remember the pain i just remember saying wow that was a really painful tattoo but i've forgotten about how bad it hurt now i didn't ask for color for this tattoo because i'm thinking that if i get more tattoos on my back in the future then those could be in color and kind of conjoined with my little dragon so thank you for myself for the future future tattoo plans i have a few i really want a chinese stamp up here of the word hua it means flowers it's really like flowers i'm gonna get my grandpa to design it for me just so i could connect it with him he is an artist back in china so i feel like it's very fitting another tattoo plan that i have is i want the roman numeral three on one of my fingers i think it holds a lot of meaning to me because okay it's too weird i just I'm just gonna keep it to myself. I don't plan ahead. I'm very spontaneous when it comes to tattoos. I'm like, I see it and I want it and I get it. A lot of you guys have been asking about how I am able to afford all of these tattoos by myself. I earn my money through YouTube and sponsorships, which is why I always save up a little for every month to get a tattoo. I know that a lot of Asian parents don't like it when their kids get tattoos, so I'm very happy to have my mom and dad they're very open so i'm very happy for that but i sometimes as a joke i call myself every asian mom's worst nightmare because there have been other asian parents of friends where they're like holy holy shit that's too many tattoos i think nowadays the whole stigma against tattoos is changing a lot which i'm glad for because in the past obviously it was associated with like bad stuff but now a lot of people from the younger generations are getting it which is why people are starting to open up more to the idea they're still very conservative about the whole tattoo thing but i'm just really happy that people are starting to open up and not judge you and like think you're a bad person just because you have tattoos so yeah that's my whole spiel about tattoos i guess i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this little chit chat video with you guys on all the tattoos that i have so far there will be more in the future most likely but this is it for now i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye